the house of the Lord one more time. We thank and praise God for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon each and every one of us. We want to welcome you here again to Church of the Harvest Christian Ministry. We want to thank and praise God for the ones that are on the outside for our drive-up services. We thank and we praise God. We welcome our streaming audience today. Come on, y'all give God glory for our streaming audience. We thank and we praise God for each and every one of your lives. I just want to do a shout out to my sister-in-law that's so faithful to listen to the Word of God every Sunday, Miss Earlene Scott. God bless you. Love you, sis. Hallelujah. We thank and we praise God for each and every one of you all. I want to talk today on faith to stay focused. Faith to stay focused. I want to go to the book of Philippians again, Philippians the third chapter. On last week we were talking about faith to move forward. But I want to continue on those lines, but I want to take it a little bit further. I want to talk about faith to stay focused. In the time and the season that we are living in, we must stay focused. We can get distracted about what's going on in the White House, but it is more important for us to focus on what's going on in God's house. Amen. Hallelujah. We must stay in the Word of God. We must be kingdom-minded. You know, we thank and we praise God for another opportunity that we are able to gather once again to hear the Word of God in a place where we know that the presence of the Lord dwells. So God's presence is in this house. Amen. And so I want to go back to the book of Philippians, the 13th chapter, verses 13 and 14 again, um, where we were talking on how we're able to move forward, but then I'm going to move on into how we're able to stay focused. Uh -huh. Philippians, the third chapter, verses 13 and 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth into those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. How many of you pressed on last week? Amen. Sometimes we have to press in to receive the promises of God. We have to press in to receive our healing. We have to press in to receive our prosperity. Amen. I know that each and every one of us had to press on last week. Because that's why I believe that God gave us that word, faith to move forward. Uh -huh. And I believe that we've already moved forward in the things of God. Uh -huh. But then I want to pick up in Philippians, the third chapter, verses 15 and 16, the next two verses, where it's talking about we are able to stay focused, faith to stay focused. Philippians 3, verses 15 and 16, and this is out of the message translation. So let's keep focus on that goal. Hallelujah. What gold it is talking about where we are able to press in to God Almighty. Forget about those things that are behind us, but we are able to press toward the goal of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So let's keep focused on that goal. Those of us who want everything God has for us, if any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment, God will clear your blur of vision. In other words, we must not be able to see. But we thank and praise God we can depend upon God because he will clear our blur of vision. He'll see it yet. You'll see it yet. Now that we are on the right track, let's stay on it. Amen. You know, we talked about last week that we're not going to turn to the right hand nor to the left. Uh -huh. We're going to set our eyes like flint, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. So we're going to stay on this track. We're not moving from this place because we're going to stay focused on him. We're going to stay focused on the word of God. We're going to stay focused on God. We're going to stay focused on Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We're able to recognize we have the Holy Spirit, that dunamis power on the inside of us. So we're able to move forward, but now we're able to stay focused. Amen. I don't care what distraction try to come our way, but we're going to stay focused. Amen. I'm going to focus on this word. I'm going to focus on what thus saith the Lord. When we focus on the right things, we will experience the peace of God. Amen. And we will feel safe and we will rejoice in the Lord. All of us want to rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. Hallelujah. Even when trouble comes, when sorrows come knocking at our doors, we are able to know that we can keep focus on him. 
we're able to continue rejoicing in him. Yeah. That's why the word of God said rejoice in the Lord always. Mm -hmm. And again, I say rejoice. Amen. So we're rejoicing in him. In the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter, verse 8, it said, Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Amen. So the word of God has already told us what we are able to think about. Stop thinking on the evil report. Amen. Stop thinking on the things that we are seeing on planet earth. Stop thinking on the confusion that we are seeing all around us. Amen. Stop focusing on the offense that people are bringing on our earth today. But we are able to focus on God Almighty. Yes. Focus on these things, he said. Things that are of a good report. You know, when we go to the doctor and the doctor give us an evil report, we're not going to focus on that evil report. We're going to refocus on the report of the Lord. Amen. What is God saying unto us? Yes. You know, I'm reminded of the children of Israel in the book of Numbers, the 13th chapter, when God spoke unto Moses and Moses, you send 12 spies to spy out the land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says that, you know, he sent them out. And the word of God said 10 of them came back with an evil report. Mm -hmm. And only two came back with a good report. Yeah. They made a decision that we're going to believe the good report. The two that went, that came back with the good report, Caleb and Joshua, mm -hmm. they said, let's go up at once and possess the land because we are well able to overcome it. Mm -hmm. But the word of God said that the ten other spies, they said, we're not able. Mm -hmm. We're not able to go up against these people because there is giants in the land. And the word of God said, because the people receive an evil report in the 14th chapter of Numbers, the word of God said that the people lift up their voices mm. and they wept that night. Mm. The word of God tells us when the righteous are in authority, Amen. the people rejoice. Amen. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Yes. So we're not mourning because why? We believe the report of the Lord. Amen. God's report said, I am healed. God's report said I am free. God's report said I have the victory. So I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. I don't care what the doctors are saying and what they see in those microscopes. We got to believe what thus said the Lord. And then we can put the word of God on it. That's why we're able to think on these things. I'm thinking on things that are lovely, pure, things that are a good report, things that are a virtue. And then he said if there be any praise, we can think on these things. So I'm thinking on the report of the Lord. Amen. In the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter, looking at verse 20, the word of God said, he said, my son, attend unto my word. Mm -hmm. Incline thine ears unto my saying. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Yeah. For they are life, talking about his word, they are life to those that find them and health or medicine unto all your flesh. Amen. You know, it's just like when we go to the doctor and sometimes when some things are going on in our body, the doctor give us a prescription. Mm -hmm. And so it, many times if we don't read that instructions of that prescription and take it the right way, it's not going to do us any good. Mm -hmm. So we have the word of God as our prescription that we're able to take this word every day of our lives. Mm -hmm. And when we are able to take the word of God, it's going to work. It's going to manifest in our lives. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, even when the doctor gives you a prescription, sometimes if it's not working, sometimes they'll up the prescription. They'll tell you to take double. Mm -hmm. Take one in the morning. Take one in the afternoon. Or they may up it a little bit. That's what we have to do when the enemy try to come against us. Sometimes we got to up our prescription through the word of God. Amen. If you've been listening to the word of God two hours a day, maybe you need to up it and listen to the word of God at least four hours a day. Amen. Amen. Double your prescription. Amen. So that you are able to get the victory, that you are able to see the victory in your lives. So pay attention to this word. I like how it's read out of the, the Passion Translation, Proverbs 4, verse 20 through 22 again. Listen carefully, my dear child, to everything that I teach you and pay attention to all that I have to say. Fill your thoughts with my words 
until they penetrate deep into your spirit. Mm -hmm. Then as you unwrap my words, they will impart true life and radiant health into every core of your being. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we have to do that. Mm -hmm. The enemy comes upon each and every one of us. All of us have to fight the good fight of faith. And we are well able to do that because we have the word of God on the inside of us. That's why many of us are able to say like David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you, that I will not sin against God because of the word that is penetrating deep in my core of my being. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow the enemy to have an advantage over me because God has given us the power that we are able to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing, nothing. shall by any means hurt us. Amen. So we got to believe the report of the Lord. We got to believe what God is already spoken unto us. We must remember that we are not our own. We got to remember that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We must live in such a way as to glorify and please God even in our bodies. See, I remember this scripture in the book of 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, verses 19 and 20. I remember the time that right after I got born again, and I began to get, I got out of my mother's house, out of my parents' house, and, and I said, oh boy, I got it made now. I can do anything I want to do now. But then I began to realize, uh-uh. I can't do anything I want to do. I can't do anything I'm big and bad enough to do because I had given my life unto the Lord during that time. And God began to speak to me so clearly. He said, no, you can't do your own thing. Amen. You got to do my thing now because you are a child of the Most High God. Amen. So once we give our lives unto the Lord, we got to be different. We got to walk different. We got to live different. Yeah. We got to speak different. And we are able to do that because of this word. 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, verses 19 and 20. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You're not your own. Amen. The word of God said, for we are bought with a price. And one translation said, with a high price. Hallelujah. We are bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We are bought and we have been made righteous because of him, because of Jesus alone. So we've been bought with a high price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We got to understand who we are yes. when we give our lives to God. The word of God said we are spirit. That's who we are. We're no longer just flesh, even though we live in the flesh. But with the word of God lets us know that we cannot, cannot please the flesh because we are new creation in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. Amen. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. That's why the word of God tells us what we are able to do now. Now I got to renew my mind uh -huh. in the word of God. I got to lay aside some things now. I can't do the same thing that I used to do when I was in the world. I got to do different things. I'm able to make, be made righteous because of Jesus Christ and the price that he paid for each and every one of us. Amen. So no, we can't do what we are big and bad enough to do because why? We belong to the Lord. Mm -hmm. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost now. Amen. So we are able to walk in such a way to please God. In the book of Proverbs, the 16th chapter, the Passion Translation again, we cannot do anything we're big and bad enough to do, as I said. So it's so important that we have understanding of what the Word of God is saying unto us. Proverbs 16, verse 3, the Passion Translation. Before you do anything, put your trust totally in God and not in yourself. Amen. If we've been trusting ourselves, we might as well quit it right now. Amen. We got to put our trust, our total trust, our total commitment unto God. Yes. then every plan you make will succeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, somebody said one time that, you know, if you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plan. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes. But God has a plan. He has a purpose for each and every one of us. He has a destiny that we must reach. 
Amen. You know, we got to recognize that God put us on this earth for a purpose. Amen. If we didn't have a purpose on this earth, we would have been taken out of here Amen. a long time ago. Amen. But because God has his hands upon us, yes. some of us could have, should have been gone a long time ago. Amen. But it was God that allowed us to live on. Amen. Many of us had some close calls sometimes. Yes. But, God, but God, hallelujah, and the angels yes. protected yes. us. From all hurt, harm, and danger. Amen. And so that's why we're able to recognize that, you know, we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Yeah. That's why some of you are in church today. Because you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Yes. We are able to recognize that God has our protection are upon each and every one of us. Amen. And that's why we can make it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, in 2020, yes. we can make it. We can make it. Yes. Can't make it in and of ourselves, but we can make it because of God being on Amen. our side. Yes. God is for us, yes. and we give him glory for that. Amen. Your work performed as to the Lord will one day be rewarded. Mm -hmm. You know, many of us are waiting on our reward, but God wants to reward us right now. Amen. He already told us what we are able to do. If we begin to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things are going to be added unto us. When we hearken to the voice of the Lord, doing all he has commanded us to do, he said, all these blessings yeah. will come upon you and overtake you. God has already given us. He said, if you meditate on my word day and night, observing to do all that is written therein, then you will make your way prosperous. Amen. And you will have good success. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be rewarded because of how we walk on the earth. Because we are walking upright in him. God will make sure that he pass over everybody else just to get to us Hallelujah. so that he can bless our socks off. Yes. I believe that God is still in the blessing business. Yes. Even though there's turmoil going on all around us, God still are blessing us Hallelujah. even in the midst yes. of distraction, yes. in the midst of everything that the enemy is pouring out yes. on planet earth. We are able to know we still have the victory. Hallelujah. And then you, we can say like some song wrote a, songwriter wrote, Hallelujah, I still got joy. Yeah. After all the things I've been through, I still have joy. I'm able to bask in the joy of the Lord. I'm able to re rejoice forevermore Amen. because God is on my side. He said, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. you. He'll always be there. So he wants to reward us according to the work of our hands. Yeah. You know, many times when you go on a job and uh, when they see you doing excellent mm -hmm. in every way, when they see that you coming in early in the morning, even before your time, when they see you begin to stay later in the afternoon, many times they begin to see that and they'll begin to reward you. Yeah. And you know, even though they may have a freeze on races and everything, mm -hmm. but they'll make sure they get to you because they see how faithful you are. Yeah. Some of you are called, you know, talking about employee of the month. Yeah. Hallelujah. Some of people say that, you know, you're employee of the year uh -huh. because God wants to bless you. He wants to yeah. use men to be a blessing. But how much more yeah. will our Father continue Hallelujah. blessing us when we are walking up right in Him, when we are pleasing Him, when we are doing the things that are pleasing unto Him, yeah. when we are doing whatever we do to the glory of God. Amen. In the book of Colossians, the third chapter, verse 23. The Passion Translation again. Put your heart and soul into every activity you do as though you are doing it for the Lord himself Amen. and not merely for others. You know, when I do the work of God, I'm not doing it just because others are looking at me. Amen. No, I'm doing it to glorify my Father which is in heaven. Amen. I want God to get the glory out of my life. Hallelujah. I want to be the salt of the earth. I want to be the light of the world. Amen. And so we are able to be that for God. And he wants to put his blessings upon our lives. Mm -hmm. Our goals, pursuit, and ambitions should be to seek spiritual things, resist sin, and put on the character of God. I thank God for his character yeah. on the inside of us. When people look at us, they know that we've been with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. They'll say that one is a child of God. Mm -hmm. And many times if they get in trouble, they know who to come to mm -hmm. for prayer. Yeah. 
they know who to seek after. And they'll begin to seek you and begin to allow you to pray for them because they have seen how God moved in your life. Amen. They have seen the miracles that God is working and how he has performed it by his mighty hand. Mm -hmm. So we serve a good God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's an awesome God. Yes, he, is. he is a mighty God. He is Hallelujah. a mighty good God. Mighty and that's why we continue Thank serving you. him up because he is good. Colossians 3, verses 1 through 3. You seek after spiritual things, not on things on this earth. If ye, be, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek mm -hmm. those things which are above, mm -hmm. where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Set your affection. And another translation says, and keep it set mm -hmm. on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ mm -hmm. in God. So he has hid us from the devil. Just think about a boiled egg. Mm -hmm. And you that yolk. There's the shell. There's the white of the egg. But then think about you being that yolk. Yeah. God has hid you Hallelujah. in his bosom. Yes. So that the yes. enemy cannot get to you. Hallelujah. He has to go through God. Yeah. Being the shell. Have to go through Jesus. Hallelujah. Being the white. Yeah. To try to get to you. you. But he cannot yeah. penetrate. Amen. To get to you. Hallelujah. Because we are people of God. Amen. So he is letting us know. Don't focus on things that you're seeing on this earth. Amen. You know that's why when we need health and healing unto our body. We're not focusing Amen. on the outward. Amen. We're not focusing on the pain. Amen. We're not focusing on what we're going through. We are focusing on what the word of God has already spoken. Amen. God's word has already said himself. Jesus took my infirmity and bore my sicknesses. Therefore, with the stripes of Jesus, I'm already healed. Yes. I'm walking in it. Yes. yes. If I have to, like I said last week, if I have to take step by step, yes. my God, I'm already healed. Yes. And I'm able to walk in. I'm able to confess it out of my mouth. Amen. And see, mountains begin to move Amen. out of my way. He said, for ye are dead. I mean, you know, a dead person can't sin. Amen. So we got to be dead to sin. Dead to the dictates of this world. So we are able to recognize that I'm able to rejoice. I'm able to glorify God. Mm -hmm. Because I know who he is Amen. in my life. So just stay focused. Amen. Jesus stayed focused. Mm -hmm. He knew why he came upon the earth. In the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, verses 1 and 2, we got to recognize we're not here on this earth all by ourselves. Amen. We got a host of heaven Hallelujah. encamping all around us. Jesus. Mm -hmm. We're not alone. And a lot, a lot of times we know that when we are going through some things, we think we are going through it all by ourselves. But we are never alone. Mm -hmm. Because God will not leave us. Mm. Hebrews 12, verses 1 and 2. Wherefore, sin, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Mm -hmm. We got people cheering us on. Yes. Letting us know that we can make it. I believe that God gives many in heaven a glimpse of what's going on in the earth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when you're going along your way and sometimes you feel your, your parents' presence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like never before. Amen. Yeah. I believe that God just unfolds some things and yeah. just give them a glimpse of what you're doing in the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe that even while we are here right now, there's angels all around us. Yeah. Even in this sanctuary. Yeah. Hallelujah. There are angels. They're letting us know we can make it just by their presence. So the word of God is saying unto us, Wherefore, sin, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Here it is. How Jesus stayed focused. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher yes. of our faith. Yes. Here it is. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despises the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Uh -huh. For the joy of sin, you and I, 
for the joy of sin that we are able to make it mm -hmm. even through this pandemic yes, for the joy yes. that was set before us he endured yes. the cross yes. mm -hmm. what was the shame that he went through mm -hmm. that they stripped him of his garment yes. and he stood hung on that tree naked yes. before the whole world mm -hmm. but for the shame of he did it for you and I yes, yes. because he saw our victory. Yes. He saw that we were able to make it, yes. that we were able to press forward, that we were able to go forth knowing that we can receive all of the blessings mm -hmm. from God. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God said if the prince of this world had known, mm. they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. They didn't know that when Jesus died that many sons will be gathered unto him. Mm -hmm. So for the shame that was set before him, he endured the cross, yes. despising the shame. Mm -hmm. But see, they're not pulling out his beard any longer. Oh, hallelujah. He's not shamed anymore. Mm -hmm. But the word of God said he's seated on the right hand of the throne of God, hallelujah. making intercession for us. Yes. Let us know you can make it. Yes. You're well able you. to conquer this. He's able. He's, able. He's willing yes. to do all things on our behalf. Mm -hmm. So we serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. We serve a good God. So I just want to admonish you. Stop focusing on things you cannot change. Mm -hmm. And focus on the God that can change all things. Yes. God is able to turn it around yes, he is. in our favor. He's able to turn every situation around. It doesn't matter how long you've been going through certain situations and circumstances, but God is able to turn it around. Yes. He turned it around for Abraham one day. Yes, he did. When Abraham was old, and even his wife, but the word of God said against hope, Abraham believed in hope mm -hmm. that he was going to be the father of many nations. And now sons are still being gathered unto Abraham. God spoke unto Abraham. Abraham, look up in the sky. Look at the stars. See whether you're able to number them. Look at the sand on the seashore. Uh -huh. And see if you are able to number them. And the word of God said, Abraham became the father of many nations. Amen. Hallelujah. You, Don't you know that we are able to be more than conquerors uh -huh. through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that's why I've said we must dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We got to abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. No evil shall befall you. Amen. Neither shall any plague. Coronavirus. Amen. Hallelujah could not take you out. Amen. And I decree and declare will never take you out. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Jesus. Because we are standing on the promises of God. We are standing on this word. Because of the word of God. We are able to know that we can walk even through dark places. Yes. And it will light will be all around us. Because we have God on our side. I was reminded of this song. I have decided. Y'all remember that song? Old time yes. song. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. We don't plan to turn back. Because we are staying focused. On God. I don't care what's going on. All of this distraction that is going on. All around us. But we're going to stay focused. On this word. We're going to do what the word of God said. Meditate on this word day and night. Allow this word to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. I'm going to mutter this word. Every time that I see the enemy raise his ugly head, I'm going to speak forth the word of God. I'm going to make faith confessions. I'm going to, what, I'm going to say what thus saith the Lord. God's word has something to say on this situation so that the enemy cannot have an advantage over us. Yeah, I thank and praise God for this word today. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the word of God is so good. Hallelujah. 
And so we're able to meditate on this word. And I just want to encourage you throughout this week, continue meditating on this word. Every time the devil come with something, and he's going to come, always come with something. We can begin to speak for the word of God. I'm going to stay focused. Uh-uh. I'm not going to be distracted. Hallelujah. No, uh-uh. Even though the enemy may try to come, but I'm going to focus on this word. I'm going to meditate on this word. Every opportunity that I get. I'm not telling you to do something that I don't do. Amen. When I get up in the morning, I got to hear what the word of God is saying. I find someone that is speaking forth the word of God. Or sometimes we can just get to the pure word of God. And we are able to hear that word over and over again. If I need health and healing to my body, I'm going to find scripture healing. And so I'm able to hear that over and over again. Sometimes in one day, I continue listening to those an hour and eight minutes, listening to those healing scriptures over and over again until I'm able to see the victory. Except we are able to see our healing. We can't receive healing for our body. It will not manifest. That's why we say we don't look at things which are seen. We look at things that are not seen. Because the same things that are seen, they are temporary, they're temporary anyway. But the things that we do not see, they are eternal. So we're going to look to the internal God and see what he's able to do on our behalf. Because I'm telling you what, God's word will never fail. He said before one jot or one tittle of my word, heaven and earth will pass away. So we are able to stand upon the word of God. So no matter what comes, no matter what we are hearing, no matter what we are seeing in the natural, we're able to put our focus on the word of God. Amen. And when the devil come with an evil report, we're going to say what thus says the Lord. God, your word says, I'm already healed. God, your word says, I'm already prosperous. Amen. Jesus became poor that I might be rich and abundantly supplied. So we give God glory. We give him praises for all what he's already done and the things that he's still doing. Father, we thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, that we could hear the anointed word. Father God, that will pierce even to the core of our being. And Father God, we thank you for your very presence here today, God. Thank you, Lord God, right now because of your presence. It destroyed every yoke of sickness, every yoke of poverty. Father, give us peace of mind today that we are able to hold on and not give up. Father, we say, Lord God, that we'll stay focused. We'll put our total trust and confidence in you. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, because you are bringing us out by the blood of Jesus. Father, we love you. We praise you. We honor you, Lord, even for this word, God. Yes. And we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praises for it. In the name of Jesus. Every head bow, every eye close. If you're in this place or if you are out there on Facebook or YouTube, and you said, Pastor, I heard the word of God today. But I'm not saved, but I want to be saved today. I want Jesus to come into my life and be Lord and Savior of my life. If you're here and you said, Pastor, pray for me. That's me. Pray for me. I want to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Glory to God. I just want to pray the salvation prayer for you at this time. If you out there on Facebook and YouTube, just repeat after me. Say, Almighty God, Almighty God. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, confess I confess with my mouth, with my mouth. the Lord Jesus. I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Father, I ask you now to forgive me of all of my sins. I make you my Lord and my Savior from this day forward. And thank you, Father, for filling me with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I receive it right now. Amen. Come on. Give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God.
Hallelujah. How many receive that word today? Glory to God.